The lights are about to go down inside the CenturyLink Arena where RFA 2017 in Boise, Idaho was alive and happening. Hello everybody, I'm Michael Chevello, joined as always by my verbal sparring partner, Pat Militic. Pat, what a night it was here for the first time ever, RFA in beautiful Boise. Let's take you through some of the action. It kicked off with Steven Martinez on one and a half weeks notice, taking on the tough Daryl Flores, but it didn't take Martinez long to find the submission first round finish. Well, he certainly wanted to get it to the ground, but when he did, Flores, great job of hunting the legs, looking for heel hooks, looking for knee bars. Here he is transitioning, getting this heel hook locked up, turning the body, then transitioning to the knee pinch. And then look at Martinez, switch off to the knee bar, both guys hunting each other's legs. But Martinez, those big boa constrictor arms get around your neck and well, show's over. Martinez advances to 12 and three. Daryl Flores falls to six and five. Knockout of the night, look at the precision, look at the timing as Scott Thomas knocks out Daniel Swain very early in the fight. Tom Metz, former Army Ranger, Bronze Star recipient, tough guy, lead hook, stepped off the angle perfectly, hit him with the shot he didn't see coming, lights out, comes in, blasts him a couple more times to ensure the victory. Scott Thomas advances to eight and four, Swain falls to 12, five and one. Main event between two bantamweights, Jesse Brock from right here in Boise took on California's Joe Murphy. Both of these guys are hoping for a title shot against Luke Sanders if he's still the champion. Somewhere down the track, Brock got away with a very narrow victory tonight. Brock a smart fighter. I mean, he really did use tactics and fought very cleanly in this one. Smart guy, got clipped with that elbow, got sliced open. But really overall, I think he just was more aggressive, got the takedown, secured the victory that way. Ed Sora is the president of RFA saying Brock is not ready for a championship shot just yet against Luke Sanders. Brock did go 21 and 8 after this. Murphy fell to 8 and 3. Folks, coming up next Friday night, the best of line fight for Muay Thai action. And then in Sun MMA, live from Las Vegas, is a special Bus Rutan Hall of Fame induction episode a day before. Bus gets inducted on the day after on Saturday in the UFC Hall of Fame.